from the Zip Cave in Huntington, West Virginia. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. Welcome to the Geek Zip Podcast. I'm all out of bubblegum. Comic books, superheroes, Marvel, DC, sci-fi, TV, music, wrestling, and so much more. That's no moon. Submit your questions and or comments to geekzippodcast at gmail.com. Where are you? Here. Go! Now. We rescue a world from mysticism and tyranny. And usher in a future brighter than anything we can imagine. Here's Ryan Zip and Chris Chin. We got new cameras, which means new technical difficulties, I'm guys. sure. I, I have no doubt that at least one of them is going to stop about 15 minutes in. Because, as I said, when I got the new cameras, I tried them and they worked. Of course, now they're not. So, we're do- trying a backup plan. Did you try them both at the same time last time? Mm-hmm. And it, and it worked? Mm-hmm. And it's just because I'm here, it's not working. It could be something in the air, yeah. Um, it's also uh, just been a shitty week. I've had a shitty week, period. Oh, that sucks, dude. It does suck. I hate it. It's just awful. Did you get pulled over by the police? No, not That's this good. week. Could be worse. Did you get pulled over by the police? No. Why'd you bring that up? Because Liv, Liv Morgan did. Oh, yes. Liv Morgan. So she's a, she's a reefer, reefer user. Well, I mean, you know, wrestlers. So she they, she I, hypes on the reefer. I think some maybe she was, she had a you know a reason. I think it's better, especially around here. You know, I think some people can use it for like pain management. Yeah, and yeah, you know, we stuff. definitely have our problem with pain management here in the Appalachians. Yeah, folks. I think it's much healthier to be on marijuana than to be on opioid addiction. Yeah. Any, I, I I don't know what it means for her on WWE television. You know, I don't know if if um, how big a deal it is yeah. on the wellness policy. I don't. Yeah, it's like it's de- they also, criminalized in several. They states. said she had like twenty grams. Yeah, I think. So- and then they said she. Well, had- she's on the road. I mean, she doesn't <laughs> want to fucking have to try to get it while she's on the road. They saw. Uh, she also said she had synthetic cannabinoids. Yeah, what does that mean? I don't. I think that. people were saying like you know they don't think it's the spice stuff. You remember the K two spice that stuff oh, that was like fake weed? Yeah, yeah. They don't think it's that. They think it's just Florida talking about like vapes or something or some gotcha. concentrates gotcha, saying that gotcha, that's gotcha, not gotcha. you know. I don't know. I mean, like I said, these, these if she people, is using spice, that's different. That's bad stuff. That's that's like bath salts. Yeah, you can't. You don't know what that <laughs> yeah, is. You, we all turn into zombies with the bath salts. Um, how was your week, buddy? What have you been doing? I had a fine week. Can't complain. Yeah. I, yeah. Got the, I got the lights down. <laughs> he called me on uh, Tuesday when the episode dropped. He's like, you got to stop Photoshopping me. I just don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> just, you're having too much it's fun. It's so with, easy. You're having I mean, too much so fun easy. with it, dude. Oh, I had a blast you with it. You love Photoshopping. I, I, I you, like it when I know what I'm... You used to do with Sam all the time when he was I a did, baby. yes, I did. I, I'll, I'll throw up a couple of those photos <laughs> of when I would Photoshop my son into superheroes. It was great. And uh, share them on Facebook. I was a doting dad. No doubt about still it. Still is, still is, guys. Still am, yeah, still am, Just sure. harder to, you know, the, the kids don't appreciate Well, now that now they think they know. Their face yeah, now. now they think they They'd know. They'd rather do it themselves. Yeah, they like, I don't want to be Iron Man, I want to be Iron Sam. Mm. Hmm? That's good. Yeah. Um, what have you been watching? You been watching anything new or? I still didn't finish that four four hour long YouTube video. You still working on that? I'm still working on that. Did you tell me that you finished Ahsoka? No, I haven't finished that. I got like one episode left. <sighs> it's the best one. I didn't, I don't think I watched anything new really. That Barbie movie came out, but I haven't watched. You it. haven't watched it yet. No. I saw that was on. Uh, what is that on? Max Max and Max. I finished watching that Dateline episode about the zombie That was hunter. funny. Oh, God. Yeah, he turned out to be like a psychopath. Uh, he's a steampunk yeah. cosplay yeah. Yeah. guy. Yeah, psychopath. He went for the uh, mental insanity case, but he, he didn't get it. I, I continued to watch a lot of Dateline. Um, I did go back and watch Swamp Thing and the return of Swamp Thing. I love doing that. I don't know what it is about the holidays. Well, Maybe I want to hear more and more about your week. Why has your week not been going so good? Just just little shit, you know, like like my outside lights, they got fucked up because I had them all nice and they were, I, 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 for the first time in my life, completed the circuit. Oh. For the first time. I had a, I had a strand from one end of the house. All the way around 360 to the other side of the house, completed circuit. <laughs> and I was so fucking happy about it. Yeah. 
So I got there uh, Friday morning. They're all out. Every light. Out. So I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? So I, I, now I got to go through it. I got I to try to yeah. find out which. Half of our lights went out. That's what I'm saying. It's like. I it's thought all... you were going to say some hooligans took them down, dude. I'd be like, that's no. terrible, man. <laughs> no, I didn't have any hooligans. No, we haven't had hooligans yet. <laughs> That'd be a real bad week, dude. I'd be like, I'm not even doing anything this Christmas weekend. Christmas hooligans, yeah. I'm just uh, gonna no. stake out the house and wait for these hooligans. To I show did. Uh, up there again. were some kids that walked by the house. I gave them the eye as they walked by. But I see. I'm afraid that makes you a marked man if you give them the eye, right? You don't. You just say hi. I don't want to do it because then I, you marks you even more. Say hi. I don't know how to live in this world. Stay away. <laughs> Keep off the grass, kids. Kush said I was acting like Clark Griswold last night. Yeah. Because of the lights. She said it was fucking hysterical. She was laughing her ass off. She can't get out. That's why I love that woman, just because she laughs like you all like, kinda like you all do. Well, um, it's probably funny when you get mad at the lights. Oh my screaming. god, she was fucking rolling. Because I grabbed the bush lights and I tore them off the bush. But I grabbed it like uh really dramatically. Fell off the house with them too. So no, I didn't fall off the house. I, I luckily I don't need a ladder. Were you wearing a Santa hat too at the time? No. Do you have a Santa hat that Probably. fits you? you it barely one. fits you me. You need one. I mean, I need like elastic. I need the whole outfit. My dad keeps saying I look like Santa Claus. You look I like a young Santa Claus. Wants me to lose weight. Young Santa young Claus. Young Santa Claus. Yeah, you'd be like Santa before he. Red Santa Claus. <laughs> Checking the camera. Shit, Jay. Yeah, make sure it's still recording. It's I still am. Going. So good. Oh. Um, okay. So yeah, Swamp Thing, and I did watch Raw because I wanted to see Punk and Rollins do their thing. I watched it later How on. How did you feel about? Did you like that promo? It was better. Yeah, I'm glad he's starting to. You know. Well, you know. <laughs> It still, it seems more like they're doing that thing where I said about him being a hypocrite or whatever. I, I was going to say it, it's really playing to your theory that you, this is this is shaping up to be an angle because Rollins mentioned that he was a fraud. He was going to call him out, and that's pretty much exactly what you were saying. Yeah, that's what the, that's that? what the internet told me. Now, from what I understand, and again, you know, behind the scenes is behind the scenes, but from what I understand, it's a great time with Punk there now. I mean, they're, they're, everybody's getting along. I don't think there's any problems. No. Um, I mean, and, I think it was a great time before, too, but... Well, you, I, it's not like it was an AEW. It down. Right, it wasn't like it was an AEW where every fucking week he's fighting somebody, every fucking week he's yelling about something. You know, sure. it's like he's getting along. He, he feel, I feel, But again, this could be part of the angle, you know, I mean, it, it, that he's playing up. So. It'd be a good heel turn thing in the long run. I think this is the smartest thing that Triple H has done. I do want to acknowledge one thing. Um, I posted that I guess he's going to have a match with Dom. Oh, yeah. A live event match. That's not going to be. his first event back, his first match back. His yeah. first match back. And I kind of bitched about it, but it's smart. It's smart to save him for the Rumble. Maybe have. A little throwaway match on a SmackDown or a Raw just to show people that he still can wrestle. Mm -hmm. um, even though, I mean, he didn't have, it wasn't that long ago he had matches in AEW. Um, but people might have forgot. You never know. Did you so, watch any of SmackDown? I didn't Randy Orton else. came out and confronted Roman. Oh, I didn't and, see and that. He, and, and Randy's like, I've been thinking about this moment since I've been gone or something. And Roman's like, I ain't thought about you at all. <laughs> He's like, well, I'm coming for it. He wanted a title shot, and Roman's like, that's not how this works. You don't just get a title shot. You don't just get to come in here and say, I want a title shot. No. You got to earn that. Got to earn it. Earn that money. You got to um, acknowledge the tribal chief. You got to pay your troll toll. Pay your tribal <laughs> dues, man. <laughs> troll toll. <laughs> Always sunny reference. <clears throat> Have you been playing anything new? I have not. I've I've been play, continuing to play Red Dead. And and I'm still playing the Dragon Quest Monsters yeah, game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, game Pass. I, yeah. Drying up. Drying up. Not shit's not changing very often. My brother I, was looking at it. And he didn't. He couldn't. Find I did much. look at Call of Duty Three. Yeah. And, but I I swear to God I bought that already. <laughs> I'm I, getting really confused as to what I bought and what I haven't bought. It's getting really confusing. They've been playing the new Call of Duty. That's what I'm talking about. 
Oh, is it's it? Modern Warfare I don't three know. or I whatever. That's what I'm saying. Is it? Is it? Though? I don't know exactly. That's what. <laughs> that's the goddamn point. Is I don't know what's happening. Because I wanted to play a shooter last night because I really wanted to kill something. I guess Baldur's Gate 3 was the game of the year, maybe? Was it? Did you <laughs> Well, I mean, EC3 is no more, well, so who the gives awards, a shit? The Game Awards oh, okay. or okay. Well, yeah, yeah, okay. No, I didn't hear about that. I that, think it was, but I, I heard I it. think that was kind of a shoe-in, though, wasn't it? Well, they had an article where it's not going to be on Game Pass anytime soon. I wouldn't. I mean, Game of the Year usually isn't. Yeah. Um, for some time. So, uh, it's the Geek Zip Podcast, Ryan Zip and Christian in the Zip Cave hanging out. Uh, it is, what, a week and three days to Christmas? Ten days? Less than that, I think. Nine days? Nine days to when, Christmas. On Tuesday or today? As we record. <laughs> okay. So, which is the, the 16th. There you go. Um, a huge congratulations to our friend N.M., that's what we'll call him. NM. For uh, getting married today. Congratulations, my brother. Very happy for you. Of course, we'll be there later. It's the same guy we were talking about last week. Yeah. I want to find out what his another <laughs> name for him might be. It's not going to be hard to figure out. I mean, yeah, they'll, they'll find it. Plus, he likes all our shit and comments on it, too. <laughs> so, yo, know, we're very happy that our buddy. Um, we love any fans getting yeah, married. Yeah, very true. Oh, yeah, any, if like, you're a fan out there getting married, let us know. We'll give you a shout out. That's right. Exactly, man. We want to support the success of all you geek zippers out there. That's right. Damn straight and well said. Um, all right. Uh, so today's show may not be as long as, uh, others just because we have a lot of shit to do. He know. couldn't get the cameras working. He wasted all that too. time. A lot of time was wasted trying to get the cameras to work. Uh, um, I'm just teasing. I appreciate your new Not cameras. to mention the fact I'm pretty sure they're going to crash. We'll see. They're holding uh, up pretty good. So I think. far so good. Well, about. They look nicer than the old About ones. the 15 minute mark is when it's going to get. A little hairy. A little dicey, you think? Yeah. Uh, We're going to run out of space. I don't think. Does it look like I'm going to run out of space? I have no idea how to tell. There's a little camera down in the corner that has numbers. Oh, there's there a, a bunch of battery. Them? That's the battery. I don't see a thing. Should with be numbers. fully charged. You see a, a thing that looks like a camera with an arrow pointed to it? It says pause. With oh, never mind. Okay. All right. Never mind. No, I don't think I'll run out of room because these cards were formatted before we started. All right. So, I, again, I've taken every precaution. But I'm sure I missed something. So anyway, uh, having said that, we uh, hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. As far as I know, I I, I think we're doing a show uh, next week for the holidays. I don't see why we wouldn't. Um, I'm going to zoom this in a little bit because I can't see what the hell's going on. We had a bad RIP this week, but I'll do a show. I don't care. All right, you're flip flopping around. We had an RIP this week, yeah, but you'll one. do next week's show. Sure, yeah. Okay, I just wanted to confirm. You that can't talk that fast. You know that. I'm sorry, Zip. Yeah. I just want. Well, you were like, we don't. Maybe a real show. I, yes, I was confirming. I'll do one. All right. Well, yeah, that'll be that'll be fun. But then um, I was also trying to move the show along. I just did it in the wrong yeah, order. Yeah, that's all right. You're still learning. You know, I mean, it takes a while to get to a spot you can't where segue and then go back to it. Yeah, that's. See, you get it. You're just we're still working on it, I which just, is yeah, fine. I need to care about it more. Um, you know, what I'm talking about care more. No, the RIP. Oh yes. Oh my God, Andre. Yeah. Andre passed. Andre Brower, famous years actor, old. Brooklyn Nine Nine. Is that what's called? Yep. Uh, homicide. Oh, homicide. Life on the street. He's been in countless movies. Uh, he voiced Dark Side. Amazing, amazing. Incredible, performer. incredible performer. Um, I loved him in The Mist. I told you I watched that recently, yeah. so that was kind of, he was great in that. Um, he's just a great actor. I mean, it's Glory. God, how can I forget Glory? Um, he was amazing in Glory. But yeah, and, and it was sudden, as I recall. It, it, he wasn't that old. I um, came out and said it was lung cancer. Yeah. Yeah, which I didn't know him to be a smoker. I don't know either. Which, you know, you, you know. can still get it. That one girl, Kate Micucci, just came out and said she had lung cancer too, and she never smoked a day in her life. Hmm. It's but crazy. I think she's like gotten better. You know. Well, that's good. 
I mean, we want them to get better. Yeah, but you know, some of the comments I saw were talking about, you know, it's something that apparently a lot of African Americans don't live to be that old sometimes. Uh, males. Get your mic closer to your mouth. Sometimes African American males don't live to be that old. Yes, yes, I have heard this. Um, you know, and my understanding is it's like genetics. I don't know. I don't know. There could be a lot of factors, but the, the some of the other names that you think of, it's like Bernie Mac and yeah. Okay, yeah, that's true. They, they. I mean, you know, there's some other ones too. I can't think of Richard Pryor. No, he was got pretty old. Richard Pryor got old. Um, I mean, I think it depends. I think nowadays it's it's a little probably getting you know the needle's probably going. Hopefully, we I can hope. hope. I do hope. Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, probably start watching the Christmas movies this week. You got any particular Christmas movie that you go to each year? I usually watch the Christmas Story. Can't go wrong with that one. I don't like that one. Well, I mean, I I'm love the twenty. 20- I, like, I like I like Miracle on Thirty. 30- I like it being on TV for twenty four hours. I don't dude. like that. I, I used to hate that. That's amazing. I love. It's just a dedicated channel to. I don't like one it. Movie. I don't like it. You know it's on, dude. It's so I don't reliable. Like it. it sucks. Because then there's nothing else on. Sorry, you do love your TNT. <laughs> Back in the day, TNT, TBS, just same with movie channels. I had to have them. And then Christmas Store would come on for like three days around Christmas (laughs) straight, 24 hours. 24-7, I'd turn up and be like, damn it! Yeah, I can... Still going! I can understand your animosity towards it. So, yeah, but I love... Gremlins. Gremlins uh, is a good one. Gremlins is a great one. Uh, Batman Returns, I count as a Christmas movie. You probably like Die Hard, too. Die Hard is definitely a Christmas movie. I mean, Um, yeah, Die Hard as well. Yeah, Die Hard is definitely a Christmas movie. I, I think, think Batman Two is too. I said Batman Returns. I oh, just said that. I thought you just said Batman. I didn't realize. No, I said, I said Batman Returns. Returns. My mistake. Go to the tape, folks. <laughs> um. So yeah, those are the ones I usually. Christmas Vacation, obviously. That that's probably my good. And I love the Boris Karloff, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. That's like my kid thing. And, the Jim and then, Carrey one's pretty good too. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. I didn't like the the illumination. I don't one. think I've seen it. It was kind of looked too much like the fucking Cartoon. yellow guys. Oh. You know? The minion people. Yeah, minions. Yeah, it looked too much like the fucking minions. I was like, wow, they don't look like who's. They look like minions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so anyway, I take issue with that. Yeah, I don't like that. It's not Minionville, like Whoville, dude. Um, How the Grinch replaced Whoville with minions. It's like Invasion of the Body Snatchers, dude. Kind of, yeah. Can you see the Grinch doing that, like, Donald Sutherland scream that he does at the end of it? Can, when you find out he's uh, one of them, dude. I can't do the scream. It's sound effects. But I was hearing some bad screams the other day. I forget what I was watching. But <laughs> Were you dreaming? I don't know what it was, dude. <laughs> oh, bad screams and uh, and... I watched Don't Breathe this week. I haven't watched that in a while with, yeah. the, with the blind man. Yeah, I know what Don't Breathe and, is. And uh, God damn, it is just as disturbing. <laughs> I was going to say, don't watch that. it all the way. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's just as disturbing now as it was back then. Um, I need to go back and watch the sequel to that. I don't think I've wa- I don't think I ever watched that all the way through. I right? thought it was kind of fun. A lot really? of people didn't Did really you watch like it, but I thought it was yeah. fun. I think I own them both. I think I started it, and the fact that he had the daughter. It's just, yeah. It's- <laughs> I was like, I don't think I'm going to like this one as much. <laughs> He's um, training her, dude. Is that what the deal is? I yeah. think so. I mean, I love, what's his name, Steven? God. Seagal. No, <laughs> that's not him. <laughs> Oh, oh, shit. I can't remember. I, uh, he's an amazing actor. He's been in everything. <laughs> nice. Did I post that? I yeah. posted that. We've we got, got Liv Morgan's mug shot. They call her a mug shoddy. <laughs> a mug shoddy? Yeah, dude. You know, like a shoddy? <laughs> yeah. but apparently, there's a subreddit for it where there's <laughs> mug shots of hot girls that are called mug shoddies. <laughs> the comments are like I there could, was something. The going comments on. are all like, "I could fix her. I'll take it on." <laughs> there was something. She, she could murder me anytime. <laughs> there was something going on that was similar to that that a friend of mine posted on Facebook. It was three weather girls, 
and they were they were uh, commenting in the comments. Oh yeah, some kind of weird language. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Like they were typing out some weird language, or they were saying they, they were, were speaking s- it. Well, they're they typing it out. Oh, okay. I mean, it's Facebook, so you don't really. Well, it could have been a video. No, it, this was a still <laughs> photo of three weather. The three weather women were attractive. So I'm thinking it had something to do with that, but I'm so old that I don't know what that meant. <laughs> and, and I was trying to figure it out. It's one of the first times I had to let one of that, that one of those things go. Well, being old, you know, I sent that video to the group about Generation Alpha and the text and the weird things they say. There was that song, Sticking Out Your Gat for the Rizzler. <laughs> You're my skibbity or something. You're so phantom tax. I didn't watch it, Christian. I didn't watch it. I'm sorry, dude. It was. I mean, but does that mean anything to you? No. Sticking out your. I don't gat. know. I don't know what any of this shit means. Sticking out your gat for the Rizzler. Isn't that a gun? No, a gat. Like, girl, you are thick. Oh, gat. A Apparently, that also means your butt or something. And Rizzler. I thought gat meant a gun. It did when we were growing up, but this is G Y A T. So they're changing it now. This is G Y A T. I think. I think the gat <laughs> we knew was G A T. It's BS. Is what it is. <laughs> the whole thing is BS, dude. Straight it doesn't make BS. any sense. I don't like not understanding those. Generation me, Alpha, dude. They're crazy. I feel like they're talking about me. These kids today, they're just making up words, dude. Like charisma, that's Riz. That's Rizzler. What? If you're charisma, if you got charisma, you're a Rizzler. Using your charisma to get people to pick up women, dude. That's Rizzler. Rizzing them. That sounds like the villain from Tron. It sounds like Riddler. To me, it does. I'm Rizzler the Riddler. (laughs) The Riddler. Sfishnizzle. My nizzles. Oh, shit. All right. So, uh, we don't know what's going to happen to Liv yet. This just has kind of happened within the last day as we record. So, we'll keep everyone updated. Yeah, that's some hot news. Mick Foley is coming to OVW. He'll be there for Nightmare Rumble on January 6th. That's probably more of an events thing, but... That's cool, yeah. He got a small video and... Probably shot. already sold out, too. Did you see Randy Moss was in town? Did yeah, yeah. I saw the lines. The chicken restaurant. saw the lines for it. I figured it. I'd see you standing there. I don't like chicken You're usually that one much. of the first... Yeah, but if it's a new restaurant, you're usually one of the first ones there. No, I never went to Bojangles here. Bojangles sucked. <laughs> I don't blame you for not going to Bojangles, but... If it's something that interests me, I'll try it. Like if we had, uh, if it was a White Castle, that'd be a different story. We don't need a White Castle here. That that will probably be your downfall. If they if they bring a White Castle here, that's probably going to be your stroke. <laughs> is is that's what's going to send you over the? Then I'll edge. die a happy man. <laughs> I was very excited because Beverly Hills Cop. Axel F, I guess it's what it's called, That's has released what it trailer like it, yeah. and posters and all this stuff. Uh, the trailer looks great. It brings back John Saxton, Judge Reinhold. I saw in it, and of course Bronson Eddie. Pinchot. I yeah, well, Pinchot. I barely saw him. I had well, to go yeah. back and look closer. But uh, it looked crazy. Car car chases and shootouts and uh, all this. Paul other Reiser. Shit. Paul Reiser. Yeah, I forgot about him. Some Jeffrey. Pe- some people were complaining, saying Eddie doesn't look like he's into it. I mean, he, he all all he did was the action shots. <laughs> I mean, they should have shown him laughing, going putting the banana in the tailpipe. <laughs> look, man, I fall for the banana in my tailpipe. Um, I'm, I'm very excited it. to I'm see watching it. Beverly Hills Cop Four. Uh, I've been waiting on that for a long time. I, wonder- I feel like if you're a kid of the '80s. I hope it gets better reviews than that other Netflix movie that's coming out. Candy Cane Lane. No, the one that's coming out this week. Which one? Rebel Moon. Oh, yeah, it's taking a part. Dump. Part one. Part one, yeah. There ain't going to be no more parts, though, unless they start fucking doing it. I don't Dude, even know what they can do. One of the revu- what can they do? One of the reviews was saying part one, it's like a threat. <laughs> That is so horrible. <laughs> Apparently they hate it, man. I don't know. Oh. They say it just it's not original. It just takes from everything. I don't know, man. We'll see. Um, a, lot of, a lot of Zack Snyder fanboys are going to be mad about yeah, it. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of broken hearts. Um, but, I mean, hell. That's to be expected nowadays. What is Death Stranding? Well, when was the last big sci-fi movie that was, you know, a big 
big new um, sci-fi movie that was successful. It's, I can't really think of. One. I mean, are you are you are you taking like the Marvels out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like a whole new like sci-fi okay. universe All kind right. of thing. I don't like, know, like, like Dune. I mean, but still, that yeah. was a remake. Yeah, but it's remake. so. I mean, it's like. <laughs> Dude, I've talked about this for years. There yeah. are no more original ideas in Hollywood. Well, it's, I just mean it's hard. It's hard to get into doing. There was like that yeah. John Carter star space thing that failed. Oh, dude, it fell flat on its face. I remember that one, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So the last time I checked, I think it was a 9%. There was the Valerian. That was another sci-fi one that failed. I don't even failed. know what that is. There's all kinds of things. Dude, well, yeah, they do. I'm just thinking of a, the, how many. I always sci- think of Maze Runner, but I guess that was successful. Is that, that's more like a dystopian future, though, isn't it? I don't think well, that's really space. What did you say? Space. Yeah. Oh, space shit. Um, what's Death Stranding? I don't know what that is. It's a stranding-style game where you uh, walk and you deliver packages and build your world out. Daryl from Walking Dead is, is the It's the also got character. a weird, crazy story with like these little babies and incubators that you carry around with you to so keep the like darkness away. it's like a cyberpunk away. fucking thing, like... Crazy it's, ass, um, I, wild it, dystopian. Oh yeah, the story yeah. is wild. It's like yeah. Metal Gear Solid. I mean, it's Hideo Kojimi, the same guy that did in Metal Gear Solid stuff. So it's that kind of crazy story. Why didn't he just do a fucking Metal Gear Solid movie? Probably doesn't own the rights to it. Probably. You're probably right. Um, Somebody else is probably making that movie as we speak. Probably. Uh, we did have some leaks from the uh, upcoming Wolverine game from Insomniac. He looks fucking great. I saw a Lego Wolverine. He looked cool. I've seen him. He's like it's a mini figure. They his, got his his claws are like the one one dot with three lines yeah, going dude. out. Of- <laughs> There's no between the fingers when you're a Lego. I'd love to have the Lego Wolverine. <laughs> life size. <laughs> no, not life. I don't need a life size one. Just a little guy. Oh, shit. Nobody's got room for a life size one. Nobody's Wolverine. got room. Nobody. You know, I saw they were selling that uh, replica arcade machines. Have you seen those? You know, the arcade I have. One-ups or whatever? They need to come down a little in price. They had the X-Men one for four players for on sale for like, Three hundred, four hundred dollars, or something. But I was still thinking. I was like, we could have had one for free, probably from the theaters. Yeah, or at least like just, you know, just a few hundred bucks. Well, I think they were owned by somebody. The games. I don't think so. I think like a didn't didn't somebody come by and get the quarters out of them each week? I think it was somebody <laughs> that worked in the office that did. <laughs> was it? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Maybe he owned them. I don't know. Yeah, we could have the real thing. We could have at least asked about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could have asked about it. You're right about that. Um, I wonder how much the real thing was worth, though, dude, if you had a working X-Men machine like that. I didn't they got one down at that barcade down at uh, Pullman. Oh, yeah. I played it. It had, like, multiple monitors inside of the cabinet. Like, so, it wasn't just one monitor. Yeah, so it might be a new one or so, something. So, yeah, that might be a newer version. But uh, those arcade one-ups are cool, but, yeah, they're a bit too expensive. At that... Uh, are the games free at Old North Arcade, or do you have to like get tokens? Games are free. Pinball is not. Oh, okay. I don't know why. I was just curious. Um, I don't think the dance game is free. I don't think um, the fucking... The time changed. I know. It started another... I don't care as long as it's still recording. Oh, okay. It started another clip. Like file or something. Yeah, whatever. Um, I know it did the same thing on mine. I just, I was hoping it didn't do it on yours. Okay. Well, that explains it. But as long as we have the footage, I'll just have to put it together. It's no, fine. dude, it's going to re, it's going to edit. It's going to record over the last footage. Oh God. It just keeps re-recording. If that happens, there's no video. I, I, I swear to God. <laughs> well, it's all right. That'll be it. It'll be a slate of the fucking show. We That's don't it. need, no, I don't have to That's be. it. I, I do too much anyway. We'll just post the link that says go to Potomatic for this week's episode. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, he wanted to talk about SNL. I do want to too. talk about SNL, but let's let's wait. Okay, get some more news. Uh, out let's of the do way. a couple more news, and then we'll close with that. Uh, the Saul writers that did Saul X are not coming back for Saul Eleven. I wonder if that's a common thing in Saul movies. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they have the same writers. You know, it'd be you interesting know? to look yeah. into. Yeah. That's a good just question. Be like each episode, no, nope, we're getting new people every time. I mean, 
Did you watch it? I haven't seen it. Dude, I've I I tried to run through and watch the Saw movies back a couple years ago. I think I got to seven. Because I was trying to get up to Jigsaw. Yeah. Um, I think I've watched them all. I got them all. But I haven't watched the new one. I, I, don't I didn't know there one. were 11 of them. I thought there were only like six or seven. So if there's more than that, then I missed some. Um, if they're already making 10 and 11. Well, there's Jigsaw and Spiral. Are those counted as? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm, I probably have seen them all. Yeah. Love Spiral. Everybody hated that. I liked it. Um. But uh, Spiral was the Chris Rock thing, right? I think yeah. so. So that's cool. Remember that bit, dude? Remember that? Remember that? You remember that? <laughs> yeah, I remember <laughs> Stone Cold fighting with uh, Booker, Booker T. T in the grocery store. Mm. Oh God, that's one of the. I am going to go ahead and say the greatest segment ever in wrestling history. Well, especially remote segment. I went there. Yeah, and it was to- It was in a grocery store. It was not a set. They went like to the back and shit. It was so <laughs> fucking great. Booker T and Stone Cold. It will never be that good again. I wish we had people that would try shit like this. Like, you remember when Stone Cold threw the rock off the bridge? Yeah. Remember that shit? And you're just going, and then they had the fucking watermark in the fucking bottom with the rock in the fucking water or stone cold in the water stone rocks through stone cold off the bridge then threw his belt into the river i remember the belt part for sure <laughs> and take your belt with you i think one time big show got or the giant got thrown off the roof or fell off the roof of titan tower no not not in wwe and wcw like oh. he was in a match and fell off the roof and then he came walking to the ring like nothing Totally fine. It's like ready to rumble. You hopped up out of that wheelchair and you ruled ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I miss old wrestling. Um, so, there is this thing going on in the comic book world. Real quick. I'm not oh, going to yeah. spend a lot of time Go on ahead. This. Go ahead. Um, and it's something that's kind of gone unsaid for a few years now because... You know, comic book fans are incredibly loyal and and stand by the characters through all these crazy ass incarnations of them. And there was a clip of a guy who owned a comic store, I don't know where, um, but he just kind of broke it down and was like, you know, we're tired of people trying to put themselves into comic book roles. Like, we want to see the traditional stories with the traditional characters with different stories. Now, I know that's a situation of easier said than done sometimes. I I will totally admit that. Um, You know, because you run out of things to write about. You know, especially when you have characters as old as Spider-Man, Batman, um, Iron Man, Superman. My God, I mean, he's almost 100 years old, right? Oh, you're saying like relaunches with new takes on like relaunch? Yeah, they're they're different people or different, you know, uh, ethnicities. A new spin on or, this, right? Yeah. It's like Steve Rogers is no longer Steve Rogers. Now he's Carl Jones, and he's got fucking. I'm totally made that up. But yeah, the idea that you know we have lost the traditional storytelling in these books. And I'll tell you, even even books that I read on the regular, like Batman, are really sometimes I'm like, God damn, where is fucking Batman? <laughs> you know, and, and the Joker and the fucking characters that we know and love and want to see in the pages. And I don't think a little repetition, I don't think that would bother readers really. You know, if you had a little bit. I mean, now, now you could always do. I mean, and they have. You could spin off. You know, Batman 1989. Batman 66, Batman the Animated Series. There are ways you can spin off to those niche reader groups, right? I just don't think you have to relaunch the whole fucking book. Sure. With, uh, you know, uh, some relative of Lucius Fox as the new Batman. Episode zero, dude. Starting over. 
just just so anyway that's that's all i'm going to say about that maybe more on that later as this heats up and it is heating up there have been mark miller's talked about it famous comic book artist he had the guy on his podcast talked about it um retailers across the country are really rallying behind this guy or they're disagreeing with him saying that and i think this is part of the woke saying that he's not open to new interpretations of characters that could be memorable for future generations. Hmm. Bullshit. These are comic book characters. You're looking too hard at it. Um, he just wants good stories. Yeah, exactly. That, that, and I'm with him um, on that point. New good stories. Okay. Um, I think we've kind of gone through everything uh, news-related that happened last week. Not a, lot, not a lot of big news. Not a lot of big news. People still bitching about the Snyderverse going to Netflix and the potential of that. Never going to happen. Um, because, A, you <laughs> What's well, on there I right now, believe, dude? I can't believe I have to fucking explain this. It's on there right now. Netflix has a lot of WB that movies is, on there right now. That is different. I know. I'm just saying. Fucker. You I'm know just saying, it's different. Technically, the Snyderverse <laughs> is on Netflix right now. I'm talking about new content yes, from yes, the Snyderverse, oh, right? Oh, okay, sure. No, people are just like, sell the rights to... No, that's know, not they how see, it they works. See, and then they see this, and they see what I'm saying. They're like, well, why can't they do that then? Why? They already got the movies. Google it. I'm not going to sit here and explain copyright to you. Yes, you are. Trademark. That's what we listen to, dude. This is the copyright podcast. Jeez, I mean, we might as well call ourselves a copyright podcast. You're absolutely right. No, I mean, it's 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 simple. You may get film rights to something, and that's fine, but the character rights, those are DC. And without DC's you know, approval. approval, you're not fucking getting it. And they're not going to do that. Permission. With James Gunn doing what he's doing right now. Yeah. He's trying to, to, to relaunch a universe. You know, I was watching some of the What If, because the new season of yes. What If is coming out. Yes, I did, yeah. And uh, one of the things I noticed was they have a lot of the actors doing the voices in the cartoon. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's what James Gunn is going to yeah. do in his universe. That'll be cool. Because it was kind of cool seeing the voices I knew. I, I feel bad for James Gunn because he became the target unrightfully so whereas marvel yeah they're doing the same shit they just didn't come out and say it like he did yeah you know? and it and it's the, because it's the way it should be i mean a character should be a character throughout everything yeah less confusion but you know snyder fans i'm sorry to fucking break your hearts but it's never gonna happen it's never not in our lifetime and not probably not in Zack snyder's lifetime no um, you know, we saw what we were going to see from Zach and that's going to be it. I would love to see some more incarnations of what he does, but it's not going to be DC properties related to the justice league. I think people should be more worried about him making a successful movie. Yeah, no shit. He needs a <laughs> fucking hit because right now, you know, you can be, you can, you can only be artistically and critically acclaimed so much. Then you have to make some box office. Yeah. And he's definitely at that point. I think. Dawn of the Dead got him a lot of fuck. I mean, I think that put him up on the fucking top of the mountain. And it's kind of been a slow tumble. You, you know, know? So I forget that he made that and then made the Army of the Dead or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, why? What, what happened? Yeah, exactly. It's like, you look at that and then look. And I think, I think it's because he was trying to be true to Romero and, and what Romero did originally. True. But, I mean, Watchmen... Critically successful box office failure. Uh, Batman vs Superman critically successful box office okay. Justice League bombed completely. Justice League Snyder cut was successful, but at that time it was already kind of done. Yeah. Uh, the New Deal with Warner Brothers, and plus now there's whispers that Warner Brother Discovery may have to go bankrupt because of all the flops. <laughs> Or maybe that was Disney. Flopping it up, dude. All of them are flopping, you know? And, and and maybe the superhero bubble is about to burst. That's possible. I mean, it, it has been a long time. It has. And we had some great films out of it, but we haven't really seen anything that's going to... I mean, I didn't even bother to watch the Marvels. Um, because everybody I talked to was like, don't bother. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not what we're waiting on. Don't bother. Um, now 
what will this new phase of Marvel bring to us? Maybe a, a renewed sense of interest in characters that maybe haven't had as much screen time as others. Uh, I hope. You know, I don't know. It'll be interesting next couple of years. Got to do something. Something's got to give. Yeah. Speaking of something's got to give, let's talk about Saturday Night Live for a few minutes. If you insist. <laughs> I don't mind it that much. I mean, I know it's bad, but dude, (laughs) there was a time not that long ago where we would like, we would literally make it a point to be somewhere to watch Saturday night live. Sure. That's how fucking funny it was. Just like Chappelle show. Um, you know, I, I, it was, it was an event. And I watched it last week. Adam Driver was the guest host. Not not what's going on. I don't know. I don't even know who the fuck is tonight. Oh, yeah. um, but last week it was Adam Driver. I assume it was their Christmas show, I think. Um, are, are you just going to keep kicking it? I'm just getting it. I can't reach it anymore. <laughs> kicking a gun on the ground. Not a real gun. Toy gun. No, a toy gun. Yeah, Nerf. I wouldn't be so unsafe and kick Nerf or guns. nothing. Um but yeah, no, anyway, first of all, I, I'm i not 100% sure. Well, they used to have enough writing to be good for a whole show and at least maybe a well, few. Well, that first skit. A Did few, you watch the first skit? Well, no, I'm just, let me finish my point. Like, you know, it used to be, it was pretty good for, throughout. There'd be a few bad ones. Right. But nowadays it's like. There's a lot of bad ones, and you know, you just watch it on YouTube and just watch the good ones on YouTube. Do you think that's kind of what their their kind of formula is? is I don't know. Kind I of just throw shit on the wall and see that, what sticks. Either that, or they don't have enough good writers. That's what I think, honestly. But there were other things too, like for example, the musical guest was terrible. I don't. I don't usually watch and let somebody I know. Do you know who was it? Some chick. I don't know Rodriguez. <laughs> I don't know like, some pop singer. But I, I and, and I can't be positive, but I'm pretty sure it was a pre-taped performance and, and wasn't in the studio. Hmm. When the know. fuck did that start happening? That used to be one of the best things about watching Saturday Night Live. Was the fucking musical guest the hottest new music? I could leave it or take it. Really? Yeah, I don't really need musical it. guest. I don't care. I mean, dude, a lot of band. I mean, you know, the first time, I, you know, I saw Nirvana on there and Pearl Jam, and you know, sure, there were bands that that were. Bands. I know. I'm just saying, I don't care. I'd rather I'm watching for the comedy, not the band. Exactly. Well, let's talk about the comedy. So the first sketch. Which was the whole, you know. Oh, you mean the cold open? Oh, okay. The cold open, yes. The anti Semitic uh, presidents the, from the, the university. College shit. presidents, yeah, getting and, uh, asked yeah, questions getting by Elise Stefanik. Who I, apparently. There, is not, there was not one fucking time during that entire cold open that I laughed. Apparently, Cecily Strong was supposed to play the congresswoman and pulled out at the last minute. You know, Cecily Strong. She she was uh, one of the old cast members. She's pretty. She's not as famous as Kate McKinnon, but she was another one of the old strong members. That's what I asked Kush. I said, "Where the fuck is everybody?" I, there was there nobody. I didn't recognize except for that one guy. That's that's. Uh, I don't even. I, one guy I recognize, <laughs> and Keenan. Keenan, yeah. Uh, but I was like, where the fuck is everybody? Where's Kate McKinnon? Where's fucking... And Chris, you're going, they left. They all yeah. left. They've all left. Yeah, they got a lot of new people this season. So, damn. I was just like, dude, this is fucking hot garbage. Did not laugh in that cold open. Yeah. I, I, that has not happened on SNL with me for a long fucking time. Yeah, a lot of people were like, that was missed the mark for real. Now, I think... The fact they had Adam Driver is the only thing that made that show entertaining at all last week. Because the funniest shit I saw was him, not the cast. It used to be the other way around. Sure. The cast was hot because the writing was hot, right? And the, and the, and the guest would add to it, but it wouldn't all fall on them. And that's just how I felt last week. And it's sad knowing what it used to be like 
and wondering if that golden era is just gone. <laughs> you know? I don't know. It's hard to say, but I was I was I was just really let down. I was. I had not watched Saturday Night Live in a long time. But I loved of course I loved Adam Driver's SNL episode he did last. Time. He was funny as the baby and when he was Dude, being he, a baby. As the baby, as the psycho. Oh, with Big Filthy. With Big Filthy, which I thought I was fucking doubled over hurting on that one. <laughs> I will fully admit. Th- that's the guy. The guy he was texting with. That's uh, the only Mikey other guy. Day, the guy that okay, came to yeah, the Keith only Alvey other guy I recognized. Dude, Weekend Update was fucking awful. It's fucking terrible. I don't remember it. They don't even they don't even play it straight anymore. They literally joke with each other like back and forth. Like you, talking the whole time. That's not. That's usually how it is. is with no, him. man. It was the straightness of it. I don't know, dude. I enjoy Colin Joseph. I don't, I don't like him. And then they try to do this crazy shit with Julia Stiles and the dance she did from Save the Last Dance. Yeah, I did see that. Girl came out and tried, started. And then Julia Stiles came out in the same fucking out. Yeah. And I'm going, why? Because that girl wanted to. Because some- Julia Stiles was in the fucking building. Yeah, she wanted to do some with Julia Stiles. And it's like, <laughs> what is uh, <laughs> what is James Gunn call it? Cameo porn. That girl that was doing the dance is pretty funny. Chloe Feynman is her name. She was kind of funny. She does a lot dance. of good impressions. Yeah, that dance part wasn't dan- that funny. But the, uh, again, I'm saying she, what, she, it, wasn't, it wasn't funny. It just didn't make any sense <laughs> to me. I was like, why? Yeah, what? Where did this? Julia on? Stiles is not in the news. That movie sucked ass. Nobody is talking about it. I right can't now. remember what the premise was of why she was doing it. I don't. know. She just appe- That's the point. She just appeared. No, there was started- a premise. I'm sure there was a premise. In SNL? Yes. Oh, probably. I but I, <laughs> I don't fucking know what it was. Yeah, I know. I'm saying if no I went fucking clue. if I went back and watched it, I would know, but I can't recall. This Man, time. but I we got done watching it. And they were doing the goodbye and the credits, and I was like, I just cannot fucking believe this is goddamn Saturday Night Live, man. <laughs> I cannot believe what we just watched is comparable. It could just be you're getting old, too, man. Maybe. 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 I'm losing maybe I'm dr- Maybe I'm losing the... the is the it pulse of the comedy? Is it is it SNL that's wrong, or is it me that's wrong? I'm pretty sure it's SNL. It could be. Because uh, I laugh at a lot of fucking shit i mean i'm known for my laugh you don't laugh at the new stuff though that those kids are doing these youngsters like what like give me an example you know stick out your gat for the rizzler (laughs) i'm not you just want me to laugh at words is all you want me to laugh at. i'm just saying you don't know what these kids are talking about these days it might be funny if you knew what they were talking about we just can't relate, man. Where do you find out? I don't know. Like, like, where do they decide? that? Where did we used to decide? Ask Sam. Okay, that's a good ask idea. Ask your son. I'll have to ask Sammy Z and see what the hell's going on. So um, what do you think of SNL? I don't think he watches it either. <laughs> <laughs> he did want to watch Dateline with me, though. Good. So Raising him right. I was like, just know, just know that murder is wrong. I'm so terrified. I'm like, just know that murder is wrong. Don't ever kill anybody. Uh, yeah, please no don't. No matter how you're angry. Yeah, I know you get mad. I know you see your dad get mad, but I would never kill anyone. That's right. Ever. And it's documented. All right. Um, yeah, I just really wanted to bitch about Saturday Night Live and uh, how unfunny it is how and how it needs it to was, change. You know, needs, needs a. Well, you're not the only one. I hear a lot of complaints about <laughs> SNL. I mean, damn, dude. I mean, just, just because. I do, like, I do like the please don't destroy people. They can usually make funny little sketches. You know, they usually have one per episode. Yeah, yeah, they, the, but they've always been good. Yeah, I mean, because yeah. they have more time sure. to kind of, yeah. you know, do the. And plus, I think their sense of humor. They have a movie too on Peacock that's pretty funny, with really? Conan O'Brien in it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Dude. Oh wow. God, it'd be great to get like Conan back. I think Laney. it's called The Treasure of Foggy Mountain or something, dude. It's pretty. That's pretty funny. I saw a video game on. There's actually there's a Riff Tracks video game. Have you heard about this? No. You I don't know what Riff so. Tracks are? They're like the movies. That's the like commentary. the commentary. The, the new age uh, Mystery Science Theater three thousand. Yeah. 
where they sit there and they make fun of the movie. And there's a game you can buy on Xbox called the Rift Tracks game. Mm-hmm. And I, it looks interesting, but I just know it's a trap because it's too cheap. It's like four bucks. I'm like, nah, nah. You, you know that Fortnite has the harmonics rock band people? Maybe they made a music game in Fortnite. I don't think we can use our old instruments to it, but I don't know how it works. But it looks really? like it's got the same bar and the buttons going. Uh, but I don't know what is songs it like rolling it is. out or something. Yeah, well, no, it's on Fortnite. It's free. It's just like the Lego thing. Somebody told me Guitar Hero's getting steam again. Like people are starting to get back into that shit. Maybe the band and all that. God well, like right fun. now, if it's all going on Fortnite, dude, all the rhythm yeah, game. Yeah, so they're getting back into it and stuff. Um, all right, we're. About 10 minutes out from an hour. I think that's enough. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. As always, we love uh, joining you during this holiday season. We would appreciate any support you can give us through podomatic.com forward slash geeks at podcast, P O D O M A T I C dot com. You'll find our links for donations. We also are looking for that show sponsor. You can email us, geeks at podcast at gmail.com. And uh, we do plan on trying to do a show next weekend, which will be two days to Christmas. We hope that your holiday travels are safe, and we hope that you have wonderful times this coming week with your families. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have to go because we have lots of shit to do and not much time to do it. It's the busiest time of the year. Sure is. You got anything else? It's the most wonderful time. You know, they had a YouTube movie with like all these Christmas movies put together as one. Like Christmas cartoons like Frosty and Rudolph and all of them. Oh yeah? Yeah, dude. I was like, how can this be on that's, YouTube? That's that's terrible. Free? Well, I mean it's handy for us that don't have it and can watch it. Well yeah. But I was like, copyright claim. Yeah. Get that off there. Well, I think the same company owns all those cartoons, don't they? Maybe all that claymation shit. I like uh, Baby New Year. That one with the, the fuck lost, is that? The Lost Baby New Year. You don't remember that one? I don't know. Yeah. Kush has been trying to find the California Raisins. Uh, <laughs> remember that shit? The sure. California Raisins Christmas special. Stop. And cannot find it. Stop motion, yeah. Cannot find it. So if you know, if you know the California Raisins. <laughs> Shoot us the link. If you know the California Raisins. If you know them personally. Reach out. And you call them at home. Yes. I don't know what their individual names are. And I'm not even going to say anything. I was going to say Rob, maybe. Don't! You don't think Rob? Rob the Raisin? Maybe. Ron? Ronald? Ronnie? Ron. (laughs) Ron. Why do they all have to start with R? Oh, we need to watch the Civil War trailer. Do you think that's going to happen in real life? I think a lot of people want it to. (laughs) I think they're stupid, though. I think they'll get killed immediately. (laughs) Look, if you're thinking about starting a civil war, I think again. Well, let's watch the trailer. Right now? Sure. We'll comment on it. All right. Just like we did last week with the monkey trailer. Oh, yeah. It's A24, too. You said your brother laughed at that, didn't did, he? Yeah, he said it was hilarious. When we were talking about the trailer. Well, it was a hilarious trailer to begin with. What I mean, am I searching? Civil War A24. Civil war. I forget the guy that made the movie. He's supposed to be pretty... Alex Garland, maybe? Does that sound familiar? That does sound familiar. <laughs> so this does it matter movie, which one? Nah, I would just pick the first one, I guess, from A24. Uh, this is, yeah, A24. It's a premise of Civil War in America, dude. Oh, I gotta hang on. I got to turn the volume because we were listening to records. We got to switch the audio source over, I think. Um, we we're, were listening to Genesis, you know, Phil Collins' old band. Abacab. Abacab. Was that the name of the album? That was the name of the song we were listening to. Is it called Ab- Abacab? <laughs> yeah, Abacab. What does that mean? Abacab. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. It's like Abacabadaba. Just gets the people going. We should have listened to some more Scatman, dude. Live. Look at that, dude. It looks like a zombie All apocalypse. Right. Who we got? I don't, I don't know any of these people. Oh, one of them is Kirsten Dunst, dude. Oh, yeah? That guy looks familiar, too. I don't know that guy. 
It looks like Don't Josh, that girl. It looks like a Mexican Joshua Jackson. <laughs> Look at that. Two stars oh, on the flag. Is, this is what reminded me that he's the president, Ron. Oh, God. President Ron Swanson. <laughs> that guy looks familiar, too. But I think he might be dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's journalists, dude. See? How are the journalists going to cover this? I mean, Civil War? I, yeah, I'm, so what is the goals of the sides here? I don't know. Some one of them seems to be trying to take the White House. That's that one guy. That's in game night. What kind of American are you? Are you a bad American? What kind of American are you, Zip? Are you the right kind of American? West Virginia? Are you the wrong kind of American? Western forces. This yeah. is like the Texas Red. State. Texas and California are working together, okay. dude. You know it must be bad if Texas and California. That's pretty extreme, yeah. She ain't hanging back, dude. She's dedicated to her job, dude. I'll tell you Look what, at that. Yeah, what the hell? Hanging between two cars. Ron is a good choice. I will say that. They're saying he's got Vice President Leslie Nope from Parks and Rec. The TV show that he was on. Oh, God, yeah. Boom. That's fucking wild, man. Yeah, dude. Wild as shit. Spring 2024. I know which side I'm fighting on. Which side are you on, man? The right one. <laughs> For Christian. I'm, this on, is... I'm, on, I'm on the Lord's side. <laughs> What am I supposed to say to that, Jesus? Exactly, dude. I got God on my side. I can't be wrong. What? What kind of nonsense are you talking? Oh, man. You can tell we're getting slap happy. For Christian, this is Ryan Zip. Have a great week. Feliz Navidad. Thank you for listening to the Geek Zip Podcast. Listen on iTunes, Spotify, Podomatic, Facebook, Amazon Prime. Follow the Geek Zip Podcast on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Search Geek Zip Podcast.